The Fordham University football camp is moving into its second week, and it's time to get back to the position-by-position breakdown of the 2014 roster with a look at the running backs. The biggest hole on the offensive side of the ball is that running back, a void left by the graduation of two-time All-Patriot League running back Carlton Kuntz. Kuntz is just one of two Rams to rush for more than 1,000 yards in the season twice, including a school record 1,596 yards in 2012. Head coach Joe Moorhead has a stable of backs to choose from when looking for a replacement, led by sophomore Kendall Percy, who is a leading returning rusher at running back, gaining 85 yards and 18 carries in six games as a freshman with two touchdowns. Also back to the position is junior Andrew Ehrenberg, who saw action in eight games last year, both at running back and on special teams. Senior Kevin Soares also returns to the backfield for the Rams after seeing action in just one game last year before suffering a season-ending injury. New to the backfield will be senior Mark DeSisto, who moves over to the position after appearing at defensive back in 2013. He appeared in 11 games last year, recording 23 tackles, 15 solo, including a career-high six in the win at Colgate. A pair of freshmen are also in the mix at running back, including Chase Edmonds, who has already displayed his talents in the first week of camp, scoring on a pair of long runs in the first scrimmage. He is a graduate of Central Dauphin East High School in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and was named MVP of the 2014 Big 33 game, where he rushed nine times for 73 yards in one score and caught four passes for 31 yards. Jared Brevard is also a Pennsylvania native, playing his high school football at Shadyside Academy in Pittsburgh, where he earned first-team All-Allegheny Conference Performer Honors as both a junior and a senior, and was a second-team All-Allegheny Conference selection as a sophomore. All right, Kendall, uh, first week of practice in the books. How do you think it's been going so far? It's been going good. People have been flying on both sides of the ball. Offense is doing pretty good. The line's been blocking well. Uh, quarterbacks learn, you know, freshmen came in. They picked up the playbook extremely well. So, you know, I'm excited for both sides of the ball. Defense, too. They've been doing their thing. You know, everybody's out here hitting, and it's going to be a good season. Uh, running back, obviously, is the big question mark on offense. Um, quarterback's back. Receivers are back. Obviously, you know, graduating Carlton is a big loss. Um, how do you feel you, you you could fill in in that role? I feel like I I feel like I would be great to fill in that role, but you know we have so we have six different running backs and we all can contribute in a different way. So you know we're all gonna be on the field, we all be on the rock, we all have our uh, certain qualities. So you know whoever's on the field, you know we're gonna get the job done. Now you actually have had a pretty solid spring. I enjoyed a really good spring game. How has that carried over into the summer? Uh, camp? It's carried over a lot. Just as I said in the spring, my pass pro has picked up tremendously, and the running backs of a whole have packed up pass pro pass pro. Uh, great. You know, everything's been going good. You know, offense is starting to click. We're starting to get that together feeling as a family. And, you know, it's looking good out there. Right. Great. Thanks, Kendall. All right, uh, Andrew, um, obviously you're losing the senior from last year, Carlton. You're kind of the upperclassman uh, with the running backs. So we have a lot of young guys in the team. Uh, how does that affect you as far as your leadership role? Uh, well, you know, losing CJ was tough. He's been such a big part of this program for ever since the new staff got here. And, um, you know, it was definitely a tough loss, but he set the standard for us. And, you know, he was a great leader for our group, and we're going to do it by committee this year. We're not going to have one guy carry the load, and we got a lot of young talent. And um, for me, as being a leader, you know, I'm going to just kind of do what CJ did because, you know, he did everything the right way. He was a great leader for this group. I'm going to try and emulate everything he did. Now, obviously, in this offense, running backs not only carry the ball, they have to catch passes and pass protect. Mm -hmm. How has that been going so far this summer? Oh, it's been going well. I mean, I think I think ever since, you know, going back to CJ, he kind of set the standard for how things are done around here 100%. Then, you know, you think of a running back. Most of us in high school just ran the ball. None of us really, you know, mm -hmm. pass pro. A couple of guys uh, took, caught some pass out of the backfield. But, you know, we just um, take a lot of pride in our pass protection and catching the ball. We don't want to be one-dimensional backs. And, you know, Coach that's really forces that on us, and we take a lot of pride in being um, very versatile as running backs. All right. Great. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you.